I love to solve puzzles. And uh, when I'm hit with a new recipe or a new idea, I think one of the first steps is take the possibilities of it. You think them through and you apply a lot of culinary common sense. And then you say, how do I make it feasible? How can I make this work in an operation? Whether it's a standalone restaurant or a chain of one or 2,000, it has to be repeatable. So when I received the potatoes, the first one that jumped out at me were the slices. And actually, I opened them up and looked at them, and I was like, what am I going to do with these? Because they just seem so tough. But my first instinct was, rather than cook with them as is, what if you could just rehydrate them? What if you could bring them back to life? I found that the rehydrated potato slices were actually easier to work with than a fresh potato slice once it's cooked. They were pliable, they were tender, but they were Brazilian. And for a dish like this, it was easier to work with because they didn't fall apart when I was tossing it and stirring it. One of the trickiest parts about a proper tortilla española is getting the potatoes sautéed just perfectly before you add the egg and then you bake the casserole just so that all the egg sets and there's no color on the outside. I think potato flakes get a bad rap. You know, everybody thinks of them as purely for instant mashed potatoes. In this application, I took a completely different direction and used them as a coating or a breading on the outside of the chicken for the Milanese. And when I did that, I actually was able to avoid flour altogether. So in my three-stage breading, I used potato starch, put it into a nice egg and parmesan and herb wash, and then pressed it into the potato flakes and it picked it up really nicely. As it comes out of the fryer, the little tiny flakes are like little baby potato chips just stuck to it. And they remained really crispy, really flavorful. I mean, they're golden brown, delicious. You just can't beat it. I'm never afraid to ask, why this? Why do you do it that way? I don't come from the food science community. I'm not a culinologist. I'm just a chef who deals with food at a really large scale. I think food should be simple. I think you should be able to understand the ingredients that are in the things you're consuming or serving to your guests so that you can talk about them and talk about them with pride. So my role often is to be the great question asker in the room and just to be inquisitive. 